Hey guys, we are Greg and Jess with Drifter Journey. Thanks for joining us for another episode in Alaska. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to watch all our videos. All right, guys, we are at Toke Thai Food, which last time we drove through here, we decided was the prettiest gas station we'd ever been to. You can't really see the view right now because it's socked in, but Mount Wrangell's right over there. So last time we came through here was closed. Um, we we're gonna try it this time. So I'm gonna order some pad thai and some egg rolls and we'll see how it is. Here is our pork pad thai from Toke Thai Food. And then we got a side of egg rolls as well. So we are gonna give this food a try. See if it looks as legit or if it tastes as legit as it looks. Craig's social media eating right now. We made it to our first campsite on the Denali Highway. So this is a 135 mile road that is supposed to be one of the most scenic routes to drive in the whole world. And uh, we drove a long ways today to get to it and it's gonna take us right over to Denali National Park. And this spot is pretty beautiful. It's got uh, some nice meadows, very lush and green. We've got some beautiful mountains. Um, basically the whole highway is above Timberline, so we should have some pretty epic views the whole way. Um, I'm expecting to see more snow-capped mountains tomorrow, but this is a pretty good panorama for, for the night. Good morning. We are on the move already this morning and made our way up the road just a little bit to find the McLaren Summit ORV Trail. And we've got some really good views of the Alaska Range this morning out in the distance. The tall peaks are covered by clouds, but uh, this trail we're allowed to take the motorcycle on. So Greg is unloading that right now and we're gonna go for a little ride. See what there is to see out there. So steady, even gold won't turn your tide. We flow together like an ocean, every low and every high. And I would have you in it, baby. Any way your heart can bear, even if you had to leave, I'd always be waiting.
trail got much worse very quickly. It's really slippery and it's not super fun to like be sitting on the back just feeling that back tire slide around. So Greg is going to go up and look and see if it's better or if he just needs to turn around. better or worse than the last one, but the bike's off the van, so we might as well check it out. We did not make it to Osar Lake. It just got too bumpy, too muddy. It would have taken us a really long time. And the view's pretty nice from up here, so we're gonna hang out and have some breakfast and then figure out what to do next. Did you enjoy the ride, babe? Yeah, it was great. You have fun? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sweating. Yeah, it got hot. We're pulling some culinary excellence in here today. Since uh, I went to the store hungry and found giant bag of country style pepper gravy mix so we bought some english muffins and we're oh and bacon we're gonna make a bougie breakfast oh now i'm making bacon too yeah she's not too stoked about it but craig somehow thinks i can cook all of these things at once on my little two burner so we're gonna figure it out make some food Burn your muffins. Can you put your can you put your butter on? No. Stay hot. How much do you want? A lot. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Probably have some left. Probably should put some eggs up in that, huh? Maybe. Too late now. But all in all, it's not bad looking. We can get through that. Just go heavy. I grew up in Illinois and uh, got a biscuits and gravy joint back in my hometown. Tell them so, what it's called. Country Charm, New Lenox, Illinois. I don't know if it's the same anymore because the last couple times I feel like it. Maybe it was just when I was younger I felt like it was different or something. Called I don't nostalgia. know. Nostalgia. Yeah, maybe that. For an at home option, this is definitely a winner. road basically drives right by a beaver dam and if that dam were to fall apart this road would probably be washed out I guess. yeah until it drains it's almost like the water is higher than the road right here We are at mile 55 of 135, and we stopped at the beautiful Clearwater Creek Bridge to uh, take a little break, check out the river, see if there's any fish in it. <laughs> uh, Greg says the mosquitoes are here, but it's a really nice spot right off the road, so 
might just hang out for a little bit. So in addition to our fly rods, we also have these cool little Tenkara rods. It's basically like a telescoping fishing pole, um, but it doesn't have a reel, so you just kind of whip the line back and forth. Like a fly rod, but with minimal distance. Yeah, but it's kind of fun because it's like a minimalist style. Um, and it makes it easy to just pull it out, see a fish are biting, and then move to the next spot. If not. Got a fish. Don't know what kind of fish. Rainbow oh, trout? What? I think it's a grayling. Oh yeah, it's got that back fin, huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Another fish on. Little guy. Yeah. Whoa. Just so then bring it to the way well, you got a feisty one. Grab the orange line, try and keep him in the water. Get the orange line. There you go. You want me to take the rod? Okay. Biggest one yet, eh? Yeah. Wow. Ah. Oh, I thought he came off. You want to hold them up? Yeah, it goes right in their little faces, huh? That's the Arctic Grayling. Thin. Kind of cool. Pretty. Yeah. Greg's third fish might be his biggest one yet. He's putting up quite a fight out there. Greg's fourth fish. They definitely Stop. don't like to be touched. Just out just... here practicing our throwing of a line with a... Our fly is gone. The bait that we just caught like eight... Hundred fish on. Grayling on disappeared at some point. Greg's been casting for the last 15 minutes and we decided that the fish got wise to us. But really it might have been that it got snagged or something and it's gone. It's a goner or a monster took it. That's my guess. Good news, we just made it to camp. We are 88 miles into the Denali Highway now, and the road finally started getting kind of crappy right around mile 60. Looks We're, like it might get good again here, yeah, hopefully. We'll see. We found a really nice spot um, on this bluff. The Alaska Range is out there.
Listening to a little morning AM radio here, and we found out we can Morse code the break with it. Is it only this station? Yeah, it is. Well, it's not 810. Does anybody know why that happens? Any? Yeah, I think they've gotten the idea. Yeah. Never heard that before. <laughs> We're just getting ready to leave this campsite for the morning, and Greg had AM radio on. And uh, I thought the car was broken for a second. When he hit the brake pedal, it just started making that awful noise. Very <laughs> odd. So, yeah, this spot treated us well. We slept really good. Um, the mosquitoes are horrendous. So there's really not much to do other than keep driving. But the mountains are beautiful. It's hazy from all the smoke from the wildfires. So, but it's a really good view here. Good evening, y'all. Jess is cranky about the Denali bus passes. So we just got off the Denali Highway today. Uh, we need to purchase our bus passes for the National Park uh, two days before we enter. They're gonna release more tickets, so it's currently sold out. So we needed to get somewhere with service so that we can get tickets hopefully first thing in the morning. We're gonna try that. So we headed down into, is it Healy? Yeah. We're in Healy now. And uh, had some dinner, found this awesome camp uh, right on the river. And there's full bars of internets. So we're gonna go ahead and get some things done and uh, get these bus tickets. Uh, but the Denali Highway is pretty cool. If it were clear and not smoky, it would be absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, check out this camp. I got burning feet from hot ash fold. A voice within me tells me don't go home. So I run until my feet give out. I jump a little higher to clear the ground. Every shadow of every girl every time I turn around. Okay, I so we woke up. Well, we stayed up late to get tickets for the bus. So we stayed up to one in the morning and still wasn't loaded. Checked it at five o'clock this morning and still wasn't loaded. Jess finally got tickets at six. And we got our confirmation when we woke up at like ten after getting a little bit of sleep and it said we only had one so we had to call in get that figured out looks like we have two tickets now we should be good but we decided we're just going to spend the day here get a little work done um, take showers because we haven't showered in a while and it's time over a week over a week I s our bathroom showers in yeah <laughs> i'm pretty stinky uh it's smoky today but we're just gonna hang out, get some stuff done, shower, feel normal, and then go into the park tomorrow. And then we decided we might go check out the Stampede Trail from Into the Wild after that. Next up, I just can't love. I can't bear the thought of seeing you. Someone you know, I swear I'm almost over you. Sometimes I find I switch up and I start to drive the streets that no longer are my own. I keep driving your way home. And the day breaks slow. Next up, showers. How do you feel about that? Good. Very necessary. 
Switch off and I start to drive streets that no longer are my own. Oh, I just can't look, I can't bear the thought of seeing you with someone new. Oh, I swear I'm almost over you. Sometimes I find I switch off and I start to drive streets that no longer are my own. I keep driving your way home. Good morning. We are leaving our riverbed camp, assuming we don't get stuck trying to get out of here, and headed to Denali National Park. So we made reservations a couple weeks ago for a campground inside of the park, and you guys are going to have to watch the next video to see all the adventures that we get into inside the park. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh oh. No, we're good. <laughs> Um, thank uh, you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys and uh, be sure to share us with your friends. Uh, stay tuned for more.